So yeah, where were we? I totally lost my train of thought. Uh, Bungo2 has subscribed. JP Martins Free is here for 22 months. Asking how I'm doing in the lockdown and that you are working on the food supply industry. So hard to still catch all the stream. Dude, can we get a, can we get a round of hands? I don't know how applause works in a Twitch chat, but y'all figure it out. Um, do you know what? Like, there's a lot that's happening right now. There's a lot of appreciation going around for people in society, but we should have that appreciation all the time. It's when when things get strained like they currently are. That's when we realise that we have a symbiotic relationship and we really value the people who are doing these other jobs. But we should always be valuing them, right? It's one of the reasons I don't like uh, us versus them mentalities and like uh, sort of statements about independence and uh, and whatnot. Because like as individuals, we are not independent in the slightest. Like we constantly rely on the human effort, our togetherness, our societies, for everything we're doing. Yeah, that smartphone, you know, the, the way you're watching the stream. Can you do that by yourself? Nope. That's, 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 you know, centuries of science and technology coming together, an extraordinary amount of human effort, and people all around the world doing jobs and doing things to make it all there and exist, right? It's all cooperation. It's like, it's all the coming together and the working together. That's that's what it's about. That's why I don't like all this us versus them mentality. Because I feel like a, a lot of the time people are just so divorced from from the reality of like how much they rely on like other people doing stuff in the economy and in society. And right now we're seeing that and we're appreciating it and we shouldn't let go of that appreciation. We're all in this together, says Crystal Husky. Yes. Yeah, very well said. Apes together strong, says Wordy. I love that. I, I picture myself saying that whilst like slamming my fist onto the ground and holding the stick in the other hand. Apes together, strong. <laughs> uh, hey, Asuma, what are your opinions on school? Do you have any tips for students? Do you think the education system will be prepared for the outbreak? My opinion on school is that I had a terrible time with school, so my opinions on it are incredibly biased, and part, I don't really know what's going on at school anymore, you know? It, the education system failed me and didn't work for me. Um, and I know that it will do that for other people. I know that it will also work for a lot of people. It will be fine. So I don't have like a terribly strong opinion on it, I guess. Yeah, and will it be prepared for the outbreak? No. Uh, like The outbreak has shown us that many systems are not prepared to be stunted like this, right? To put things on pause. And, you know, a whole... Societies tend to revolve around the calendar year and the seasonality of things, and we don't seem to be able to put stuff on pause, which is kind of what I was thinking when I like first heard about, you know, football's cancelled for now, and so are schools, and it's like, can't we just like pick up where we left off? But no, it's not going to work that way. Uh, also, I was I was hearing today about people exploiting the current crisis to scam people and using spoof email addresses to send emails from the World Health Organization website so you can have a legitimate looking, you know, email address and using it to scam people out of money. So be wary. Always be wary. Music Dog says, isn't it horrible that we live in a world where people do these sort of things? Maybe. But uh, the thing with negativity is that it draws your attention, but it makes you... It pulls your attention away from uh, all the positivity, right? There is always so much more positivity than negativity. It's like I was saying earlier when I was talking about how uh, how we value our key workers and our services and how, you know, the idea of, like, independence and us versus them stuff, it's so silly. We're, we're all so interconnected and dependent on one another, right? There are just people doing good every single day. We're all coexisting, and then... It's the ones that step astray and the tragedies and the the violence that consumes our mind too much, I think, sometimes. It's like it's almost disproportional. You know, you hear about something bad happening and it can feel like that's all that's happening. And you forget about all the good stories, you know. You forget about all the good that goes on every day, all the cooperation, all the working together, working for each other.